the behavior of light is often studied by observing its reflection in plane or flat mirrors mirrors are typically smooth surfaces even at the microscopic levels as such they offer each individual ray of light the same surface orientation but quite obviously mirrors are not the only types of objects which light reflects off most objects which reflect light are not smooth at the microscopic level our clothing the walls of most rooms most flooring skin and even paper are all rough when viewed at a microscopic level reflection from smooth surfaces such as mirrors or a calm body of water leads to a type of reflection known as specular reflection reflection from rough surfaces such as clothing paper and the asphalt roadway leads to a type of reflection known as diffuse reflection a light beam can be thought of as a bundle of individual light rays which are traveling parallel to each other each individual light ray of the bundle follows the law of reflection if we project the torch on the food wrapping foil made up of aluminum it is like specular reflection upon crumbling the foil there are many surfaces which reflect light in all directions this is diffuse reflection let's understand why rough surfaces diffuse a beam of light if the bundle of light rays is incident upon a smooth surface then the light rays reflect and remain concentrated in a bundle upon leaving the surface on the other hand if the surface is microscopically rough the light rays will will reflect and diffuse in many different directions now let's learn about the images we learn that in order to view an object one must sight along a line at the object when you do light will come from that object to your eye along the line of sight this very principle can be extended to the task of viewing the image of an object in a plane mirror or flat mirror in order to see the image of an object in a mirror you must sight at the image when you sight at the image light will come to your eye along that line of sight the image location is thus located at the position where observers are sighting when viewing the image of an object it is the location behind the mirror where all the light appears to diverge from three individuals are sighting at the image of an object along three different lines of sight each person sees the image due to the reflection of light from the mirror in accordance with the law of reflection when each line of sight is extended backwards each line will intersect at the same point this point is the image point of the object since there is only one image for an object placed in front of a plane mirror it is reasonable that every sight line would intersect in a single location this location of intersection is known as the image location the nature of image formed by plane mirror is virtual virtual images are images that are formed in locations where light does not actually reach light does not actually pass through the location on the other side of the mirror it only appears to an observer as though the light is coming from this location that means it cannot be projected onto a screen later we will see other types of mirror which form real image we can project this images on the screen if you write letters physics p h y s i c s on the transparent paper you can read the letter when viewed from the other side when viewed from the other side the letter appears reverse now write the same letters on plain paper and view it in the plain mirror the letters as seen in the mirror are exactly as that you saw from the other side of the transparency the apparent left right reversal of an image is simply a frame of reference phenomenon when viewing the image of your shirt in a plain mirror you are viewing your shirt from the front this is a switch of reference frames 
If you mark the mirror with ruler lines, you can measure the image height and width as well. By placing objects of different sizes, measure the image height and width in the mirror. If a coin with a diameter of 27 mm is placed in front of a plane mirror, the image of the coin has a diameter of 27 mm when viewed from the point very close to the real coin. From the observations, we can conclude that for a plane mirror, size of an image and that of a real object is same. The ratio of the image dimensions to the object dimensions is termed the magnification. Plane mirrors produce images that have magnification of 1. We learned that plane mirrors produce images with a number of unique characteristics. Images formed by plane mirrors are virtual. Images are upright and left-right reversed. They are at the same distance from the mirror as the object's distance and the same size as the object. We will explore about curved mirrors next. Take this challenge. You might have noticed that emergency vehicles such as ambulances are often labeled in front with reverse lettering. Example, E-C-N-A-L-U-B-M-A. -A. Can you explain why this is so?